So on the test, there will always be, there will be all four of the operations with fractions like this one. So this is divide. But remember, we don't really divide the fractions. We really just multiply them. So our first number on the left stays the same. But we need to change this to multiplication, which means we also reciprocate the numbers. So I have 27 over 5. Now some of you guys notice that we have a 5 in the numerator and denominator, which means you can cancel it out, but not everyone will realize that. And we know we have one negative, so the answer is negative. Let's do 5 times 27. That's 135. Okay, and 9 times 5 is 45. So this is our fraction if we don't simplify to begin with. Now both of these end in 5, so we know they're divisible by 5 at least. So I'll go into both of these and divide them by 5. And that gives me a negative, well, 27 over 9. You see how that kind of added a step there, but we could have canceled these two fives out and gotten this right away. Either way. Okay. There's no right or wrong way in that term. 27 and 9 are both divisible by 3. So I got a negative. 27 divided by 3 is 9. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. Oh yeah, some of you guys noticed both of those were divisible by 9 as well. And that's good too. Divide both of these by 3 again. And we get a negative 3 over 1. Which we can just write as negative 3. On the test, if you write negative 3 over 1, you'll be fine. 